it's Jennifer and welcome back to my room makeover series. I'm so excited because today I am going to be showing you guys how I organized my room, DIY organization, storage ideas, how I just cleaned up my room. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I... Ah! I'm so excited. I'm currently filming this in my dorm in New York. I'm also planning on making over this room, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, it's basically where I do all of the big changes in my room, painting my room, doing all my furniture and stuff. So make sure you check out that video before you continue watching this video. It'll be on the eye on one of the corners here, and it'll be also linked down below. And my next two videos in the series are going to be me redecorating my room, so DIY room decor, and also my final room tour. So stick around to see those and if you guys want to check out some extra footage behind the scenes of me cleaning my room It'll be on my vlog channel. My vlog channel is called Jan's Life. If you like this video make sure to like it not just emotionally Yeah <laughs> And subscribe if you want to. Alright guys, I'm about to be late for class so I gotta run but let's get started so the things I like to organize first are my clothes because usually my clothes are sprawled out everywhere in my room. So this is my closet or the hanging part of my closet and what it looked like before. Honestly, like not that bad, but it doesn't look that great either. So what I like to do first is I go through all my clothes and obviously everyone knows you're supposed to like take out all the clothes that you don't wear anymore or that you don't like. But I also like to go through my clothes and look at them again and reimagine new outfits. Maybe like a month ago, you thought something was really ugly and you were about to donate it but now when you look at it you're like actually I can make a new outfit with it this is a great time to do that and especially if some of your old clothes have become trendy again you can take those out of your closet and actually start wearing them again so here I'm just putting all the clothes that I don't wear anymore in a box and I'm donating them Next up, I like to go back through my closet and take out all of the clothes that don't require hanging, ones that are easily foldable, that kind of have more structure to them. So what I like to keep on my hanging rack are clothes that wrinkle easily or are flowy and delicate that don't really fold well. One thing that will help your closet look so much more organized is to have the same hangers for all of your clothes. I started doing this recently and it's transformed my closet. So I changed all of them to this really cheap dollar store kind. It doesn't have to be expensive at all, but if you do want to go for the expensive ones, go ahead. After I hung them up on all the same hangers, they already look so much better, but I decided to arrange them in color order. So what I like to do is put all of the white clothes at the front and then all the black clothes at the end and then in between I like to order them in rainbow order so from red to purple and then another thing that I like to do to make it look a bit better is to space out the hangers this kind of makes your closet look bigger and it makes it look like you have more clothes and it just looks more organized so I really like how my closet looks now yeah Okay, moving on to my foldable clothes slash my shelf area of my closet. I'm gonna show you guys how I fold all my clothes so it doesn't look like a mess like this. So first off, I'm gonna start out with t-shirt folding and I'm using the KonMari method, which I think is really cool. So I'm taking my t-shirt, I'm gonna kinda draw a line down the middle with my hand and then I'm gonna fold both sides to the middle and tuck the sleeves in so that it fits within the shirt. Then I'm I'm going to fold that in half and then I'm going to draw out two lines so that there's three sections and fold that up. And now you should be able to stand your shirt up like this and if it stands up then you are good to go. I just put all of my folded t-shirts inside my drawer and this actually saves so much space and you can actually see each and every t-shirt that you put in so it's really easy to grab and put back in. And those are all my t-shirts. Now moving on to long sleeves, so this includes just regular long sleeves or sweaters, anything like that. Again, I'm gonna draw that line down the middle and then fold both sides to that middle line and then kind of tuck the sleeves in so it fits within the rectangle of the shirt. Then I'm going to just draw those two lines so that there's three sections and fold that up. And then if it stands, then you are good to go. 
And then I just placed this on my shelf after folding all of my sweaters and long sleeves up and that is how it looks. Now moving on to pants. So what you're gonna do is fold them in half so that the back pocket is facing outwards and then you're gonna fold the bottom part up to the top and then draw those two lines so that you have three sections and fold them up. And if it stands up, then you have folded it correctly and now you can just put it onto your shelf or your drawer and stack them all up beside each other and this should actually save you a ton of space. I know it doesn't look like it but you can actually squeeze so many items of clothing together on the same shelf. Obviously this kind of works better if you have a drawer and you put them in because there's going to be more space that way but it still works on a shelf and I actually find it easier to keep it organized and it doesn't get messy as easily. So this is just how I like to do it. This is just a recommendation, try it out if you want to. Okay, moving on to jewelry. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really cool jewelry stand slash necklace stand. So I got this wooden dowel that's half an inch wide from Home Depot. It was like $2 or something. And then I just sawed that into one piece that was 30 centimeters long and two pieces that were 15 centimeters long. You can customize this to whatever length that you need, but this is just what I ended up doing. Next, I'm using this half an inch copper tee that was like really affordable and also this wood block that I have a circle drilled into the center of. Optional but I also use some copper spray paint to match the copper tee. So I'm just spraying down all of my wood pieces and you want to do a couple of layers because on the wood you can see the grain after the first layer and after you build up a couple of layers it starts looking more like metal so you want to do that and coat all of the sides evenly. Once you let that dry, you can start assembling. So here is my wooden block or the base piece and I'm gonna stick my longest piece in there, make sure it fits, and then I'm gonna use some hot glue. I'm gonna put some glue in there and then I'm gonna stick my wooden dowel in there just so that it stays more in place. And then at the top, I'm gonna place my copper T and then I'm gonna take both of those 15 centimeter pieces and stick them in the sides. And these pieces stay in there pretty well so I didn't have to use any glue or anything, but if you feel like you need glue, go ahead and do that. So I just stuffed them into the copper T and there is my necklace holder. I think it turned out really, really cute. I think I saw something from Urban Outfitters like this for a lot more money and I made this for under $10, which is crazy because I think it looks so good. And then I just hung all of my necklaces on there. You can hang all kinds of things on there, rings, bracelets, necklaces, just do whatever you need. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to organize your papers because this is what I've struggled with for so long and I finally figured out a system that works for me and works pretty well. So these are all of my random papers that are sprawled everywhere. It's always just in my room and I like don't know what to do with them because I wanna keep them but I don't know where to put them or how to organize them. So what I ended up doing was I used a file folder and what's great about this is it has so many different compartments and you can label them and put different things in each section. So in the first section I put cards and in different ones I would put like my own art and like school things and things that people gave me for meetups. I just think this is a great way to organize all your papers and keep them all in one place. Okay, so if you want to save space and you have a lot of papers that you want to keep but you don't physically need, you can actually digitalize them. So what I mean by that is like taking photos of them and keeping them on a drive or a cloud or something like that so you still actually have your document but it's not physically there and it's not taking up room. I love this because I have so, so, so many things just stuffed in my room and like I like them but I don't physically need to have it in my hand. So this is a great way to do that and save space and you can really do this for anything Thing for pictures, for papers. I would also make different albums for different categories of things. So like maybe for pictures, you would make one album. For school documents, you would make another. It's up to you. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of random storage ideas that I'm using. These aren't insanely creative or anything, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. So this is my shelf. I have a couple of things there that kind of just look out of place. They don't really have a storage unit. So I got these wooden crates from Home Depot 
below and I'm just putting all of my papers and files and binder type things in there I also put some books in there and now it just looks more consolidated and this isn't anything revolutionary by any means <laughs> and I'm also putting my binders at the side out on display because they kind of match and like I don't know I just put them there <laughs> and in the second crate I just put a bunch of my candles and spray paints and paintbrushes it's honestly kind of a random bunch of stuff but it looks more organized I also already had this wooden slab from before and I just placed all my sunglasses on there and I just think it kind of matches with the wood crate and so that is how I organize the things on my shelf much more organized than before Okay, so I have so many bags. I think this might be kind of common sense, but I like to put the smaller bags within the bigger bags. And also if you have suitcases, you can put stuff in there too. And then I actually like to use these dollar store bins. These are like only a dollar, obviously dollar store bins. And I like to put my bags in there and then put them in my cabinet. And I like to use these white dollar store bins for like everything. I like to put papers in them. I like to put just random knickknacks in them. Because these are so cheap, you can use them for anything and it makes things look a lot more organized, especially because everything in my room is white. It kind of matches everything in my room. So having the same storage boxes makes everything look more organized, even if things aren't organized on the inside. And that is it for my video on how I organized my room. There wasn't anything revolutionary in here. Here, but I just want to show you guys how I organized everything and show you guys some of the storage ideas that I use Unfortunately, I can't actually show you guys my room right now because I organized and decorated at the same time So if you want to know how I decorated and how my room looks Make sure to stay tuned for next week's video because I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated and I think it looks so bomb You guys will be so excited. So make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. I am so excited so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out of the week right here. Thank you so much for watching and that is pretty much it. I will see you guys next time.